This problem gives us the position equation for an autonomous vehicle, and it asks us in part A to find the position and acceleration at the times when the vehicle is not moving. And in part B, it asks us to draw three graphs, one each for the position, velocity, and acceleration between two times. Let's do part B first. So I'll draw three plots. First one for the position as a function of time, then the velocity as a function of time, and third, the acceleration as a function of time. To make these plots, we will write each of the equations and calculate values that we can put on the plots. The position equation is given here, copying it from the problem statement. At time t equals zero, we can substitute that value to find the position is 2.17 meters. And we can put some other marks here to calculate positions every half a second, up to two seconds. Substitute t equals 0.5 seconds into the expression to find out the position there is 3.37 meters. So we'll mark that here. And then substitute one second. And you get this value plotted here. One and a half second to find the position is 11.8 meters up here. And finally, t equals two seconds to get a position of 15 meters. We'll plot that here. A smooth curve going through those points would look something like this. Now we move on and do the same thing for the velocity. We get that equation by taking the derivative of the position. And that gives us 2 times 4.80 meters per second squared times t. That's the 9.60. Minus 6 times 0 0.1. That's the 0 0.6 times t to the fifth. We can mark off some times to calculate the velocities and calculate them. At t equals 0, the velocity is 0. At t equals half a second, we get a velocity of 4.78 meters per second. I'll draw those here. And then we calculate the other values. At 1 second, the velocity is 9 meters per second. At one and a half seconds, the velocity is 9.84 meters per second. And at two seconds, you get a velocity of zero. A smooth curve through those points looks like this. The car speeds up for a while, and then it slows back down to a stop. Do the acceleration in the same way. Take the derivative of the velocity to find the acceleration equation. It's 9.60 meters per second squared minus 5 times 0.6, which is 3, t to the fourth now. And substitute all the needed values. At t equals 0, the acceleration is 9.60 meters per second squared. At a half a second, the acceleration is 9.41 meters per second squared. At one second, you get 6.60 meters per second squared. At one and a half seconds, the acceleration has gone negative. This means that it's slowing down because the velocity is positive and the acceleration is negative. My axis doesn't have a negative value, so I'll move it up. And that puts the negative values over here. And at t equals 2 seconds, the acceleration is negative 38.4 meters per second squared. That's a very large negative value, so it's down here among the numbers somewhere. And a smooth curve through those points looks something like this. So that's part b, the plots for position, velocity, and acceleration. In part A, they want to know the position and acceleration at times when the vehicle is not moving. That's those two times circled here when the velocities are zero. So now we just need to look up the position at time zero and two seconds, and the acceleration at time zero and two seconds. We've already calculated those, so we can just write them down. And here they are.
And that solves part A.